state of Florida. We're under the lights at beautiful Lone Depot Park. What's up guys, Rich Gamer 997 here today. We are back on MLB The Show 21. If you guys enjoyed this video, we really appreciate it. If you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Let's play The Show 21. Trevor Rogers will be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has really struggled coming into this game, right? The league is hitting just under 300 against this guy, and that's something he really needs to improve on. And it'll be interesting to see if that trend continues in this start here. So now here is Armando Tavares. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. No left field. The pick. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matty D. I, I think one of the toughest things, D. Rowe, is to keep playing with this sense of urgency. It looks like they're playoff bound, but the thing is, you need to keep going and, and not take your foot off the gas pedal. Yeah, you need to be rewarded for the marathon, and that's exactly what this team has done. They've already clinched a playoff berth, and now they get ready for the sprint. Try and find a way to get healthy, but not lose focus. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. And at the plate is Jake Cronenworth. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. O'Neill has a reputation as a strike thrower, although that doesn't often result in a ton of strikeouts. A typical start may find him with a low walk total and the ball in play a lot. Matty, he's what they call today one of those pitch to contact kind of guys. He has good stuff, not great stuff. Uh, dive, you prick. One of the keys, he's not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. With that said, he needs some defense behind him because he's not going to get a whole lot of swings and misses. That is good. First pitch coming, here it is. As the fastball is swung out and missed, good location down at the knees for strike one. For most people, being down on one would seem like a lot. But this guy is such a good hitter. He doesn't care going deep in the count. He's got runners on base. He has a game plan every time he comes to the plate. Let's see how this one plays out. And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Hey, d -Row, you better be up there ready to swing with Ricky Holiday behind the plate, particularly on that high pitch. Yeah, and I'm, I don't like that, Dan. As an offensive player, that's the one pitch that you almost can't get to with a power guy on the mound. I'm okay that's when cool. you give it a little bit on the corners. <laughs> you start giving Gary. north, it makes it super tough on the hitters. Sanchez. Gary Sanchez is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. And, and that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Blowing one. away with that one, it's one and two. Cronenworth hey, is off the first with two away. High in the air out to center field. Pache finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Pache. Miami. They trail here four to nothing. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Richard O'Neill. The pitcher, O'Neill. Here's the first pitch. Lighter in there for a base hit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, way to square that up. Nice hit, nice hit. Hey, there's another base knock right there. A hitting streak now up to eight games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, eight games. Now, nah, man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games. Now you're like, ah, I got a nice little hitting streak. The one, two. Lifted in the air to center. Halfway, halfway. Scott makes the catch, and now they might be able to double the off at first. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Nicky Lopez. He flew out in his last A.B. 1-1. One, one. 
This one's down to third. Attack for one. Let's go, beat it up. Come on, come on, come on. The double play and that one's on the side. You tag him and fucking throw him out at first. So here is Brian Anderson. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's game. Mr. Game. Anderson. They got the garbage to start this game. There's no doubt about this. But that's when you have to turn the scoreboards off. Everybody do their job one at bat at a time. But well, this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Now with the plate is J.J. Gladetti. The right fielder. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Get hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to first. Two gone. Stepping up is Jesus Aguilar. To try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. On to first. And can you believe it? A three-pitch inning. And just like that, the side is... Three. Out. He's out. At the plate now is Connor Scott. He was not much of a factor at the plate during no, yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Back to back tough pitches and he's down 0 and 2 now. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. So he throws him for the strikeout. Connor Scott is retired for the first out here in the bottom no half of the third. Oh, I need me a new controller so bad. Now the pitch. I got one. Comes on with one away as he looks at a ball that's one and oh. And eventually gonna have to break down and buy the money if I can't find a PS5 soon. But I could find a PS5. I'm just not gonna spend as much money as these assholes are charging for one. Pops this one up. And no one can get there. It's a foul. Like I seen a thing on Instagram. I'm like, oh, we got a PS5 here. It is the fact that the PS5 is thirteen hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, you can make monthly payments. Fuck that. Thirteen hundred dollars for a console that costs four hundred bucks for the regular version, for the digital version, and five hundred for the disc version. But do you want to charge thirteen hundred dollars? They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now, now Armando Tavares. Lying to the right side. Two, 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 lead, but he can't bring it down. Base he's yelling too. Boy, it's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, d -Row, and he fights it off the other way. Oh, yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right, right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Oh, Fight it, it doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Oh, wow. And that's in there. Base hit. They always do this. A two-out hit and shit. But after this... They will not do anything else. softly down the line toward first. The one on its way. Right side. It's flagged down deep in the hole. First will be in time, and the Marlins can't cash in here, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Three innings complete. It's the Phillies four, and the Marlins nothing. Home run. Singled the first time. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back in. So now I can just suck ass afterwards. Ooh, that's got a drive on it. Uh, oh, oh, go back. He's so slow. <clears throat> I thought he was going to catch that shit. 
but they got over his head. I know it was a good hit. Stepping in next, Luis Guillorme. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. I thought they was going to play it off the wall. My dude so slow. Which, I know that it's different. So this thing, this they shouldn't do anymore. Even though it's cool, you know, being a double threat player or whatever. You pitching and hitting, they shouldn't do it anymore. Keep it separate so you can create separate hitter and a separate pitcher. Because having these fucking loadouts for the same player, you have two different loadouts, but one loadout is for pitching, so half of them suck ass for hitting. And then if you use the hitting loadout, it sucks for pitching, so. Unless they're gonna fucking combine it, so it's good. You create one loadout. You have everything underneath it. Pitching, hitting, all, all your perks, all that shit is under one loadout. You don't need to. You don't need a pitching loadout and a and a hitting the loadout. You just need one loadout for your guy, which will make your guy good. Either if he, either way, if he's pitching or batting, he's gonna be good. You know, he's not going to suck ass as a hitter and suck at running as when he's pitching. Because he'll have all those abilities. You know, one loadout, you have all the abilities. The ability to hit and still keep your speed and pitch. Usually the second time through the order you start seeing you know. incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's nope, locating feeling really good about it. Thought it was gonna chase. He started going for a minute. I can't get the ball up there. Oh, poor, poor controller. It's my favorite controller, that's why I don't want to get rid of it. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the Oh, he drove the shit out of that one. I shouldn't have went up. Again, Keep going up high. So one run on one hit, which was the home run. No errors and no one left. We played four full. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Connor Scott. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. One two. Yeah, another thing too, the fact that you have to make all your perks you're probably gonna have to make all your perks velocity perks for you to have some velocity behind your pitching. Got you with that slurve, baby. Like I've seen, and then another thing too, you can't add any pitching, so you're stuck with three fucking pitch, your whole career pretty much, because you can't add no pitch. I can see on PS5s you can add pitches on the PS5, but on PS4 they just gave you the thumb up your ass, so you can't add no pitch to your guy, which is just fucking dumb. You can just change the pitches, the pitching, the pitch. You can change the pitch. But you can't add a pitch. First pitch on the way. Now a swinging bunt. 
which is fucked up. See the average starting play at 318, 28 home runs, and 82 runs batted in. Aye. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Oh, the count. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting excited? It's kind of like a, yeah, I think that's a fuck idea, you man. to the PS4 the players. And fuck so you for not getting the PS5, pretty much, is saying. Out number two this inning. Into the box, Armando Tavares. Armando the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Now a flare out toward right center. Guillaume is calling for it, and he makes the catch to retire the side. Miami down. Three. Now it'll be Richard O'Neill singled in his last at bat. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Oh, got jammed on that one. I'm too late. Too late. Forced to retreat back to first. Yeah, I got two hits. Shit. It's better than what I normally get as it, when when I'm pitching. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Jake First pitch on its way. I wasted so much time trying to play friggin' mafia and that bitch didn't even record. Carlos Correa is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Oh, right down the middle on now. You missed that shit. If he doesn't have a big game right here, pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Oh, he caught that shit at the end. That's crazy. Trying to send him packing for the second time. <laughs> He's fighting, yo. Mm. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long. Scrambling pitch and mm -hmm. pitch. That was nasty. Time to go down swinging there. Carlos Correa becomes out number two this inning. Mm. Now to the plate. Here is Gary Sanchez. Now Ball for two with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. Fouled away. That didn't go straight up. Shut up, Mr. Controller Man. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Over to first, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the mark. So now to the plate, Brian Anderson. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Outside target here, Andy. That one up to 95. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. And the funny thing is, the pitching one is so much harder to work on the pitching layout than anything else because you don't pitch that often. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Holds off on the slurred ball. It's 1 and 2. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Now batter will be J.J. Blade as he takes a fastball off the plate. Oh, wow. He's one for two in this one. Oh, 
One ball, one strike to count. Hit hard up the middle. Reined in. And the throw here is going to get him at first. Nice play, Mr. Shortstop. <laughs> Next to stand in is Jesus Aguilar. He grounded out last time up. He looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Two out, nobody on. One and one now to count to the Marlins' first baseman. Two down now, two down. The pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up. Too early. It's too early. Aguilar, too early. And now pitch on the way. That's a oh. into the air. And that will Jammed his ass up and shattered his bat. Miami down in order. It's still an eight to one ball game. Shatter his bat into pieces. This one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up... Turn ball, my so life up, into they, they, pieces. They, 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 this is my last resort. Really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate. They did damage there. If anybody out there remember some Papa Roach, leave a hell yeah in the comments. Ooh, that's a nice hit. Oh, we caught it. It was a really good hit, though. Start. It's strange. The controller seems to be working in some weird way. <laughs> Before, you could never really get a pitch up there, but in some weird way, I can get a pitch. Mm. Yeah, well, that one was too high, but in some weird way, Selected in the third I can round. put it up high without it being all over the place and acting all crazy. It still is acting crazy. I still need to get a new controller. Oh, come on. Swing, you prick. Now the pitch. Hit down the line at first. And he'll take it to the bag and shelf for the out. Emil definitely took off the mound quicker that time. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Armando Tavares. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Guys, you just got to be gentle with that. Just don't force her. And she'll cooperate. Oh, sorry. That slurry ball got away. Thinking about molesting my controller too much. <laughs> oh, got him. That's, that's a nasty one right there. Nothing across here this half. We played eight full. Phillies on top, eight to one. Come on, why can't you just let me finish the game, you fucking prick? It's not even a safe situation. So there's no reason to pull me out of the game. Oh, that was low pass in shortstop. Okay. You only give her four hits. That's a good day at work right there. Richard O'Neill earned his ninth 
win of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. First open back in 2012. We're live inside the cavernous Lone Depot Park in Miami. Tonight, it's an NL Eastern Division showdown between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins. Now, it's Marlins baseball, and it comes your way next. Miami Marlins. Edward Cabrera is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, ERA just under 3.00. That's a pretty good pitch. He minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down, and if he can do more of the same of that, he should have some pretty good fortune in this one here today. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Late on that one. There, and he has it for the first down. This is that Afflin. Standing in as the power hitting second baseman, Brian Anderson, lifted in the air to straightaway center. I'm gonna be gentle with her. Don't move around too quickly, and she'll work for you. Zach Afflin is fucking up again. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Again, once again, is Richard O'Neill over one for him here in this one. Now, here's the first offer. Went down low. Now, they're going to go up high. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Oh, that's some bullshit. 124 power and I hit a ball that short. <clears throat> That's just annoying. Bottom of the third now. And taking into bat next to be Jose Peraza. This is in the air out to straightaway center. O'Neal is there and he'll bring this one in. Digging in next, Edward Cabrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a little blooper to center. Lopez ranging into the outfield. Good thing I stopped. Otherwise, he might have pulled up and would have caught that ball. <coughs> so stepping in is Richard O'Neill as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. Oh, wow. Can't get a hit in this game. That's some bullshit. Over three. Driving a run. I got to. That's gone, bitch. That's a grand slam. Yeah, baby. Grand slam. <laughs> so he promptly unloads the bases with that one. Home run number 54 thus far, and it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. And they complete the comeback with a flourish, going deep with a grand slam to take the lead. You don't get style points in this game, but I'd give them some if I could hand some out. Oh, that's a hell of a catch out there. Keep that ball, girl. 
I signed it after. <clears throat> We're gonna get a lot of money for that ball. O'Neal is a double threat. See if I can get a ball from Shohei Otani signed. I'll keep that bitch forever. <laughs> he is one hell of a baseball player. I just want to thank everyone that hit the subscribe button on my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for helping me grow slow. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> it gives me something to look forward to. It ain't a grand slam, but at least we're driving a run. <clears throat> that one was high. That was high as hell. That's too busy in my emotions. <laughs> Come on, Diaz, close this shit out. Really? You need O'Neal's help to close this game out, Diaz? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Sometimes that shit is tricky. And like, should I jump? Shouldn't I jump? What should I do? Should I play it off the wall? Zach Eflin gets the win. Zach Eflin hangs win number 11 on his line. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa. Dan 11 and 10. So he's above 500 again. <clears throat> that's good. I got one for four. A home run for five RBIs. So Anil is doing this thing. Even though he should get more hits than just one. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 24 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind <coughs> you, please, drive home safely. But at least that one hit just blew the game wide open. So that's an important hit. And they'll be the show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Lone Depot Park in Miami today. You no, know, they got the roof open today. We're in 97 or 49, man. We almost win 100 games. We're probably going to win 100 or more games. <clears throat> but we just need to win the World Series again. That will be good. Got one World Series title. We need another one. comes out of spring training hoping they can make somewhere between 30 to 35 starts this guy will be making start number 30 on the year he's reliable he's dependable and he's been pretty good all season long the record don't starts, show it though not an easy thing to do <laughs> so next to the point for the fills starty he has 30 starts but it looks like he's been pulled out of the game most of the time Oh, I got on there real quick. Holy shit, that was a hundred miles an hour fastball. I just came in there really, really quick. <clears throat> Why does this guy suck? Are you pitching a hundred mile an hour ball? Maybe it's 
stamina and longevity. He has no stamina. I forgot why Leo start to suck. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this season. Come on, come on, come on, get him, get him! Throw on the first, gets him, and the side is retired. I hate pitches that has their main pitch as a fucking breaking ball or a slow pitch. It makes it hard for you to figure them out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play. To... Leading off the inning, it'll be Richard O'Neill. And they could use a spark from him here. And he turns on one. And that's out of here. Deep to right. And he's going to have room. Oh, one in track. That's some bullshit. This guy's not wasting any time, right? Gets a first pitch fastball, and he flies out deep. They want Miami to win this game, so they're gonna make you sad. Ooh, that's a shot right there. And this will get all the way to the wall now. Around second now and headed for third. Slide, 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 slide. Oh, you bitch. That's a big mistake there leading off the end. I thought I would have made that one. That was me being too greedy. That's all it was. It was okay. It's okay. You can be greedy once in a while. But it's not just don't be too greedy. Because greedy suffocates you. Come on, fool. Why you ain't get the fucking ball? Why you stop running? You prick. You're an outfielder. Why are you not running to go get the ball? Like I say, we know once this game starts going bad that they want Miami to win, so it's nothing new. It's normal shit. I just hope one day San Diego Studios will stop making their game just so fucking predictable. Sell that for a thousand. I don't need that shit. Like, you can predict when you're gonna lose the game, when you're gonna win the game. Like, everything is predictable in this game. I guess that's what makes it. Easy to play. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me tonight. If you guys enjoyed this video, it'd be really appreciated if you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Remember, stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask if you choose to. But most important of all, be kind to each other and tell someone you love them. Have a wonderful night. Peace.